What's up gamers, my name's Sayushi and we're back in for some more Cube World, 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 and today we're going to be retiring good old Moly because the lollipop is actually used to tame the snout beetle and these guys are pretty cool because they're ranged and they're all powerful because of it. So I'm going to take you instead of Moly and I shall call you uh, Megazord. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> what a great name! Uh, I didn't steal that from Power Rangers. <laughs> what, what do you think? So anyways, that's why I had that marked on the map. We got lots and lots of different food items that we can end up using. Maybe we should... I'm gonna go and check out this blue area today. We can't take on the legendary. We, we're not gonna get that artifact yet. We'll save that for later. But I want to check out this area because if I'm not mistaken, this sword icon could possibly mean that we're going to end up getting ourselves a new weapon which would be awesome. The other thing too is there is mounts in the game. Like you can actually ride most of your pets, uh, but unfortunately I haven't found the reins. So there, one of these places I'm sure already has them if I, uh, if I haven't already discovered it yet, but there is going to end up being reins that you'll have to get from just finding out in the world. And then you can end up using a mount in that biome specifically. It kind of sucks that we're not going to end up having you know we we don't have the uh glider or the boat or anything like that because we're going to be moving on from this biome long before that stuff is even useful and in all honesty i would argue that a lot of that stuff just isn't useful anyways with the inclusion of fast travel points unless you end up just happening to find that gear like right away which would be great but of course i haven't found it right away so the fruit basket what was that for Fruit baskets for a fly. Ugh, disgusting. Let's go and check out this crater, gamers. It is blue difficulty, so we should be able to take it on now that we've got this legendary chest piece that we got last episode, which is awesome. And then, you know what, Megazord? Well, I was gonna rename him, but I'll, I'll rename him to some... I, I got a name for... Okay. Yeah, that guy's name is Megazord. <laughs> or Gary. Uh, that's, that's his surname. So, Gary... You and I are going to take these guys on. Oh my gosh. That's like our first actual official boss here, guys. So we got to try and lure these mages and fight them just separately. Because otherwise they are going to absolutely destroy my face. Huh. Guess we can't take them on yet. <laughs> well then. I mean, mages are pretty much just overpowered in this game no matter what you do. But, uh, yep. That, that makes sense. What is this over here? Why did I mark this? That must be like a random boss or something. Same with these other locations. But there's something right over here, so I want to check this out and double check. I'm guessing this is like a creature. Oh, it's actually a boss. Now, this guy we should be able to take on. Even though we've already fought bosses before, but not something like that. Like, that was, that was a pretty big thing. So let's try and check these guys out. Take out his little beetle pals. I also didn't use my ult when I was in the middle of that fight, which I should have done. Get him, Gary! Come on, Megazord! We got this, man! We got this! Jeez Louise, this guy sure is powerful. He means business, dude. I love how we can charge our right-click attack, like, so quickly as the, uh, as this, like, maybe it's just because we're using the axe. Oh, well, it was charging super fast. Ha! Awesome! That was great, dude. Okay. Oh, there's another village over here. Well, I'm an idiot. I knew there was three uh, three villages in this biome. I just completely forgot. Because otherwise there's... Oh, there's another star over here. What the? Look at that, guys. It's another floating island. Now, we already ended up using our flute uh, in the last episode to get to a floating island. W does that mean, like, will we be able to use the flute again in this biome? Is the flute just for the entire kingdom? Is that the point? Or did the item get consumed? I don't know. Let's find out here, boys. Because this could be epic. I hope there's actually something worthwhile up there. If it's gold again, then I'm going to just go ahead and say that floating islands are always... I just want a screenshot because it looks cool. I'm just going to go and say that the floating islands... Oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. That's a legendary dog. I should, I should think before I attack things. <laughs> and he's going to follow me to the ends of the earth. Gary! Megazord, protect me, please. Oh, please. Because otherwise this is not going to work. Carry me to freedom, freedom birds. Please. You stupid game. 
Why does it have to have this same stupid garbage? You attack an enemy and then they just follow you to the ends of the earth, man. It's never gonna stop aggroing me. Oh, great, and now we got witches to deal with. Oh, they're friendly witches. I've never heard of a friendly witch. Greetings, my name is Varinia. Something is scary, okay. The, you haven't found the spirit bell? You should, yeah, I don't have potions to give me resistance to lava. Crows are my favorite pets. Cool. So is that thing gone now? Let me just shout to the air so that I can heal me, gods. All right, let's, uh, so far the doggo seems to have left. And, oh, there's Gary. <laughs> I was going to say, where is he, man? Ha-ha! <laughs> Carry me to freedom, freedom birds. That looks like there's something on that mountain. You know? Usually there's stuff on those mountains. I really need the hang glider. Otherwise, I don't think I could take, like, I would get just destroyed by fall damage here. So I got to fast travel out of here, unfortunately. Whoa. Oh, hey, it is gear. <gasps> okay, cool. Oh my gosh, gloves, purple ones too. That's awesome, dude. Cause I thought it was always going to be gold. Like money, that is great. Our gear score did not move. <laughs> okay, well then, uh, still those are really cool. They gave us more armor, haste and resistance and stuff, which awesome, dude. All right, so we're uh, we're doing pretty well. Now, what else is there? There apparently is something else I marked over here. I think this is like another boss, but I want my hang glider like desperately, dude. I really should get my hands on it, but I don't even know where it is. Sorry about that, guys. I got a Steam message, which I wish wouldn't actually go bam on the middle of my screen, but hey, whatever. So uh, I realized that we didn't end up going to that third village yet, but that's okay because you know what we we're gonna do? We're gonna end up freeing this gnome that is of green rarity. That's what this dungeon is. So that means it should unlock some green items in the shop or maybe higher tier. I don't know how it works, uh, but we'll try and definitely free this guy. And maybe we can go and attempt to free that blue gnome, possibly if we end up getting some actual better gear out of this. Uh, but we'll do this and then we'll check all the towns and see if there's a better weapon and better armor that we can end up getting. If I can find this guy, this is, uh, this is pretty gross, dude. It's just big and empty, like there's nothing here. What is this? And then the gnome is just gonna be in one specific location, which I don't know where that is. Wait, our little treasure guy is going off. Is there something on top of that mountain? I'm gonna check it out. I'm gonna check it out. That might be our hang glider or something, because otherwise he's giving us some point of interest and then that'll be a really good vantage point as well, because then we can just look down on the kingdom and see if there's anything there. But I'm surprised that we didn't end up getting, like, the NPCs that you talk to usually end up telling you about these things. Maybe they're not telling me about them because there's other items that I'm still missing. So maybe you can only get, like, so many quests from them at any given time or something. Oh, there's totally treasure up here. I mean, it makes sense with how tall the mountain is. I wonder if these always generate with treasure on top of them. And these climbing boots have been invaluable, dude. What the? Oh, no, it's just an iron ring. All right. Whatever, I'll take another, I'll take another ring, sure. Give me that in my left hand, even though I right click to activate it. <laughs> and where is the gnome, dude? Where is he? Whoopsie daisy. I don't see him. I guess I'll have to look around for him. Hello, Explorers Guild idiot. My friend found reins at the, yes! Yes, that's what I needed, dude. Where are those? We definitely want to go for those today if I can end up ever finding them. Oh gosh. I wish some of these icons would like disappear. Oh, there it is right over there by, and there's a respawn point like right beside it too, which is awesome. Thank you so much, Senpai. Thank you so much. Now I just gotta go find this stupid gnome because I have no idea where he is. <laughs> or dare I say gnome idea where he is. There's also more lore in here. Huh. I didn't know that there would be more lore in here, but whatever. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> the dancing orcs gave it away. Oh gosh, and these are ogres, dude. These guys are gonna be some serious business. I don't know if we'll be able to take them on. They are only two star, but this enemy type uh, has a move that can one shot us. So hopefully we'll be okay. Oh gosh, so far so good. Let me cast my ult, because we need it. These guys hurt a lot. Yes. Oh my gosh. Well, we made it. That actually wasn't too, too bad, honestly speaking. There you go, you stupid gnome. 
So now there's going to end up being some better items sold in the shop. Awesome possum. That's a really lame thing to say. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We got blue ogres this time. I don't think we'll be able to take those guys on. Those guys are probably meaning some serious business. So we'll just skip right over them. So long as there's a treasure in the dungeon, I think you can just go and grab it, honestly speaking. The only thing that I would assume is well protected is the relics. You probably just blatantly have to, oh gosh, there's a barrier on the door. You probably blatantly have to like uh, complete an objective or something in order to get the relics. And it looks like we might have to complete an objective here as well, which I can only assume would end up being related to those ogres. What are these guys? Those are jesters. Yeah. Okay. Well, maybe if we fight these ogres one at a time, we should be able to take them. Uh, we did end up finding a sword actually as well. Ew, it's not as good. Eh, that's too bad. I wish it was a better one. I don't know how, like, the objective is not clear, man. Do I have to fight these ogres in order to end up opening the gate? I would assume so, just because they're like a stronger mob that you wouldn't normally see just while out exploring. But I gotta be very, very cautious with aggroing them. Come on. Just one of you. There you go. There you go. Yes, come fight me, child. Fight me. Oh, gosh. Eh. I need a stronger sword. I really do. At least our spin attack still makes us like super duper invulnerable. I will wreck your face, you dumb ogre, so long as we fight them one at a time. Easy peasy, dude. Easy peasy. Okay, get over here, you. Ha! Spin to win! I will defeat your onion men. Oh my gosh, this guy hurts so much! He hurts so much! He destroyed Gary! No! How dare you! This is one enemy I'm gonna have to actually drink a pot on. Oh my gosh. And let's... You didn't expect that one, did you? Me to turn around with a plunging attack. You foolish ogre. And then my spin attack, just for good measure, to finish him off. <laughs> We're so powerful now. This is actually awesome. Because at first, you just get your butt kicked by everything, dude. Now, at least we're a little bit of a force to be reckoned with. Only a little bit, though. Not really super duper great. I really gotta watch my health. I wish I could see the health of my character, like, on top of me or something. All right, I'm gonna spin attack so I can get that lifesteal going. Oh, my gosh. Ugh, there. You do not know my power, ogre man. And it's still blue. It's still blue, guys. What? What do we gotta actually do then? It's not clear at all. Is there like another enemy to fight? Or was there somebody that I needed to save or something? Ugh, that kind of sucks. Maybe there's a secret way inside or maybe in all honesty, the treasure could have just generated like out here in the middle of all this. Problem is the game doesn't do a good job showing where it is. Like, I wish it was a much bigger icon or something, because, yeah, it could very well just be in the middle of this graveyard. And I don't think that I'm ever going to find it, just because of, like, how tiny it is. Oh, boy. This kind of sucks. This kind of really sucks. It, it seems like because the barrier is there, though. Maybe these gestures know what's up. Hey, guys, you clowns know what's going on. I'm on a quest to find the mysterious artifact. Something or rather, sure. Do you know where it is? No. I mean, maybe I do. Maybe it's already on my map. What about you? A giant demon portal was discovered at this location. I've already got that demon portal on my map. Thank you very much. Where, where? Oh my gosh. The graveyard actually goes all the way over here as well. So there, there could be, oh boy. I'm just, uh, I don't know, dude. I don't know. I'll just have to keep exploring and see. There they are right there. Right in the middle. I knew it. I knew they would just be right in the middle. There we go. You received the reins. They enable you to ride with your pets throughout the Desmer Plains. All right, buddy. How do I actually ride you? Uh, what if I press F1? Call slash ride pet. <gasps> yes! Yes! That's not as fast as it should be. <laughs> At least we do have a mount, though. That's epic. Anyways, now let's go check out those towns, guys, before we end up calling it for today, I think. Because that was already pretty good. Let's go to this lava lake first. I want to see what's inside there. Th then we'll go to town and see if there's any items in the shop, okay? Okay. Agreed. Yes, Gary. Yes. You degrade both of us by riding on me. Shut up, Gary. 
<laughs> nobody, nobody cares what you think. Look at you. You're a bug and you're angry all the time. I drew those eyebrows on him, but he doesn't know that. So is this going to end up actually being some piece of gear again? Because there was that sword. That sword icon was guarded by that mage that was just too powerful for us to check out. So hopefully this will end up being something uh, actually interesting. Oh, it's a lava lake. Okay. Uh, is there something in the middle of the lake? There probably is, but I think it's just this boss over here, which is mages again. It's green, so maybe we can take it on. Because that blue star just absolutely annihilated me. But red ma or mages in general are like the toughest enemy in the entire game. So, I mean, they're also ranged. So it means that we're going to deal with... Yep, here we go. I got to take out at least some of these guys. Come on. There we go. There. At least I took out some of them. Okay? That's the important thing. Even though we died. Because this is cube world we're talking about here. We at least took out a couple of them, which means less total DPS the next time we fight. And I didn't want to end up using my shout. I don't know why, but I didn't. So let's just focus on the little baby, because he's going to be the one that gives us the most trouble. Ha! I'm going to use my ult. No, you don't. Ah, there, I just needed to knock them down, dude. That's all I needed was just to knock them on the ground. And let's do a spin attack, because this guy is really hurting us super duper bad. Get all these items out of the way, because they're distracting me. Ugh, knock him on the ground. That's all I need to do. That's all I need to do. This guy means some serious business, dude. He's so powerful. So long as we keep knocking him down on the ground, Megazord, we're gonna be okay. We're gonna be okay. Spin attack. Spin to win. Yes. We're slowly whittling him down. So far, it seems to be okay now that he doesn't have his adds. And that life steal that we've got is so precious. It's really helping me out. Oh gosh, he's knocked me down. Huh. But I've knocked you down, you fool. Countless times. Die. Delicious money. And we also got the rare book of crafting. You can now craft rare equipment in the Desmond Plains. Really? Really? That's interesting. What about like a good weapon? Oh my gosh. Here's a good weapon, but it requires tons of sapphires and iron cubes. Is that really worth it? I mean, that's pretty crazy, but oh my goodness gracious. So that's what those hammer icons must mean. It's just, yeah. All right. Anyways, let's uh, let's head back to town. Let's see if any of these guys have anything good in the shop. Hopefully, they'll end up just selling us a blue item. Actually, I want to see. Is this a plus? No, it's not. It's not plus gear. Weird. So just to let you guys know, sapphires are 200 gold a pop. We couldn't even afford getting four sapphires if we wanted to. There are mines out in the world. But they're very few and far between. Like, you do not find them very often. And when you do, they'll maybe have, like, a couple pieces of iron and not much else. At least near as I've found. Like, I really wish that we could end up finding a lot of these resources, but nope. Either way, let's uh, use the furnace here so that we can end up actually making ourselves some iron cubes. We don't even have 20 cubes. Jeez Louise. At least it just crafts faster and faster and faster, but I still wish I could just craft them all at once. There's no reason not to. So we got some gold. This was just from me randomly mining. I, I don't even want to necessarily say that I was mining because it literally was just, I found uh, places that I could, like I found ore just out in the world. Yeah, so this is where we would craft this. 30 iron is what it requires. Ugh. Nope. No, nope, not gonna happen. Not gonna happen, Gary. I know what you're thinking, but it's not gonna happen. What about you, Dum Dum? Okay, so these shops never seem to upgrade. They don't seem to upgrade very much. Ew. It's a blue mace item. I don't even know where I got that, but I'm gonna sell it because I don't need it, man. I need my two-handed weapons. I am spoiled with the amount of power that we've had. Get out of the way, Gary. What about you? Grand Axe. Ah, oh, man, it's not as good. Why? Because it's not Great Axe? Is that the difference? I mean, there is three different towns that we can check out, so it's not that big a deal if uh, one of them doesn't have anything good. And Handsome Iron Boots. We don't have any Iron Boots, so I'm definitely buying those. The Silver Amulet looks okay, but it's not that great. Don't need that. Don't need that. Boop! I finally got some... I finally got some shoes, y'all! Nice! Ah, uh, yes. Re-Village. 
The town that I freed from petrification. You better have something good, so help me. Polished Iron Axe. That's got a little bit more damage, but not much else. Why? Why aren't you guys... Like, this can't be a two-handed axe. It's got to be one-handed. That's why it's not as much damage. Because we're literally talking about a green boosting up to a blue. Like, why wouldn't it end up just being better? You know? We at least have, like, we've got the defense to handle some higher quality dungeons, but I desperately, ooh, I desperately need to get my hands on, uh, what is this comparing it to? Is this comparing it to the superb silver one? No! I didn't want to sell that, you idiot! Give me that back! And why would he only buy it for 40? Like, jeez, or four coins, I mean. What an idiot! That's a steal. Okay, well, better shoulder pads. We got enough armor now that we should be able to free the next tier of gnome, though. So that's really cool. We'll have to do that next time, though, because we got to go to Sanka Village. Oh, ho, ho. I just randomly went over a hill, and here's some silver ore. Okay. Is there any, any more ore around? Also, one thing I did want to mention ooh, is that, um, as you saw with us trying to craft this axe, like this is not this is not balanced. Like that's not really worth it. The amount of time that it takes to end up actually getting these resources in order to craft this axe in the first place. And it is more powerful than the one we're rocking now, but it's literally going to take less time and be easier for us to just free enough gnomes that we can just end up buying or finding ourselves a better weapon out in the world. Like, especially it just being blue. You know, like it should be a much like I could expect that price for a purple. That makes sense to me. But for a blue? Nah, fam, that ain't worth it. Okay, here's a blue necklace, though. What's our necklace that we're rocking now? It's just, whoa, it's just a gray. Okay, I'll take that. Don't need that. Don't need that. And that's all garbage. But at least we got a blue necklace. So there you go. I'll trade you that for one coin. <laughs> totally worth it. What about this guy over here? Please sell me a good weapon. Please, please sell me something good. And he's got a great sword. Ooh, and it's actually stronger. Oh, yes. I like great swords better than axes. They look so much cooler. Bonk. That's awesome. Yes, look at that. Oh, that's so cool. And it's still got the same attack pattern. Yeah, okay. What about our right click? It's still going to be the same thing as well. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, dude. That's so sick, dude. I'm so happy about that because I really, really wanted to get my hands on that. So we could theoretically, like we're not, we're not going to, we could customize it. I just want to show you guys this because I think it's really cool. Uh, but if we put any pieces of iron on this, it'll ultimately end up making it stronger. So I'm going to put like a tiny, let's put a little bit on it just right here at the tip, just to make it a little bit more of a threatening blade. You know what I mean? And then now... The weapon actually looks different in game as well and other players are able to see that uh just as easily which is so so cool dude i love that aspect of this game thanks for watching smash like sub for more next episode i don't know we'll just explore more of the planes and hopefully end up getting even better gear sign on stay up gamers